Greetings fellow crafters. We're back and we're going to kit up Jack and Sally here for Emily to do. Hi, we're going to both kit up the drills and prepare the canvas for her so that she can go right to dealing with this. Uh, be back in a minute. Okay, we're back. So I think what I'm going to do with these, it's got the DMC code on the canvas itself. So I think I'm just going to put the number, the, the canvas number and the symbol. That way, if you can't tell what the symbol is, you can look at the number. What do you think? Sound good? <laughs> okay. Tables, pens, diamonds. Okay. With the last one I kitted up, the DMC numbers were not on the canvas, they were only on the bags, so I had to write the DMC number on the containers, otherwise it would be lost forever. Okay, so number one is 1V. Oh. 1-V. And the two is two K. Three is O. A circle. Yeah, this is four just... is R. Five is M. Six is Really? Square bracket? Or is it a one? No, it's a square bracket. It's weird. Okay, seven is a sharp. I know, hashtag. You kids get off my lawn. Eight. I know it's a sharp. Is it dot? I remember music class, however distant. Nine. And this is why I wanted to make sure there, because I cannot draw an ampersand to save my life. And it's looking more like a trouble class. <laughs> yeah, mine too. I can't draw ampersand ever. <laughs> I've tried. It just Ten. doesn't work. Here's a U. I really should master it, considering my profession, writing on cakes and shit, but, or stuff. You just write and. Yep. 11P, 12, question mark, question mark, 13, B, uppercase, uppercase B, 14, lowercase G, lowercase G, 15, normal bracket, open bracket. Is uppercase G. Seventeen is S. Eighteen is diagonal percentage mark thingy. Percent symbol. <laughs> Nineteen slash. is forward slash. And 20. Uppercase F. Is F. Okay. Oh, I don't have my little scissors in here, so I guess I'm going to have to use the big nasty ones. They will work, they're just kind of overkill for this. <laughs> nasty curved scissors. Ah. Just... Chop your fingers off. These labels are just a little too big for these pots, so I cut them in half. Yeah. Actually, I better slow down because sometimes they need multiple multiple things. And this only got 20 colors, so we can do multiples because this container will hold 28. I 
And every time I do one of these videos, I would I keep thinking I will make sure I have a pot to put all of my garbage in. And you never do. I never do. Well, you did with the first few videos. Did I? Yeah, you had garbage bucket down here. Oh yeah, I had garbage bucket. That's right. Right where I'm sitting. That's what I was thinking about. Three is three three six and it's pretty full, so it may need to spill over into the next one. It's not black, it's more of a midnight blue. to this come on open up they call this wax at they actually call this wax dotting cement you realize most of these are written most of these kits are made in China right yeah so while they have far better English than we do of their native language they're not all fluent English speakers I hope this will turn out okay, because if it does, this is a very pretty picture. I think it should turn out okay. It might be a little on the pixelated side, but... Okay. I hope it doesn't turn out utterly terrible. Well, you know what the fun part is? Is if there's something about it you don't like, you can always change it up a bit. We've got lots of spare drills. They usually send about 20 to 30 percent extra drills. And I've labeled these upside down. Uh, but luckily these are stickers that can be taken off. And these stickers are on. pretty repositionable. So this is a yeah, so like really dark green. Yeah, I believe. I have some of that in the painting I'm working on. Another night ever before Christmas. Shocking. Oh hey, did you realize zero's right here? There's two paintings of zero. The only one with Sally. We're doing it. Unless I get that DAC one. But that will be very expensive and very large. Which one? Uh, Diamond Art Club has a Love at its Darkest. It's done by Mandy Manzano. And it's huge. It is the two of them basically cuddling together. Aww. And it's gorgeous, and I love the fact that it's licensed work, but it's large and expensive, so... <laughs> hey. 550. Rachel Ray's favorite purple. It's going into a purple container. How ironic. That's not ironic. That's kismet. That's perfect. I don't know why I keep thinking that kind of thing is ironic, but... That's okay. At least your generation didn't put out an entire song about irony that didn't actually have anything ironic in it. <laughs> that was my generation. <laughs> and I love that song. And I still love that song. I like that song too. At least I think I know the song you're talking about. I think a version of ir irony is like your fire hydrant catches on your fire, your fire extinguisher catches on fire. Yeah, that's the <laughs> idea. Whereas, like the, the or like the triple egg egg, egg guy. Who is supposed to get your keys out of your car when you lock them in accidentally? I don't even know how you can do that. Locked his own keys in his own car.
Oh, that's wrong. This one? Yeah, I put 14 on it. I started from the top instead of the bottom. Seven. I do learn occasionally. Yeah. I like how mine, uh, I like how your D DMC code stuff is all clear. Like, you're, you're... Oh, moment of silence for the drill that didn't make it. <laughs> it, it, I think it's black. Or like, min, or the, like I the... think it's one of this red color. Didn't quite make it. Now it's trapped. That's 19. <sighs> it's migraine here. One eight. It's okay. DMC seven forty five. So forty five is a like yellow. Yeah. Wait. Oh, it reminds me of bananas. Banana. Banana. Okay. Here's here here's something here's something funny. A, a girl made this. A, a girl had this polish that was yellow that she forgot the name of so she just called it Ben Anna after her boyfriend Ben. And he likes bananas. Why are you so hooked on nail videos? The person who does all these nail videos are really funny. Okay, nine. This one looks pretty full too so it may spill over. Purple? Blue kind of a purpley blue. 797. Seven nine seven. We have some of that. That was in, that was the one that was in Squirrel's Tail. I think. There's gonna be a lot of it in this painting. Yay! I like that color. Yeah, it's gonna just spill over. Oh, perfect. Pretty well done. Let me guess. It's the ampersand color. Um, nine. Nine is ampersand, yep. <laughs> I see someone jack. Oh, someone zero. Bunched it in the background. A little bit on Sally, too. Ten, seven, nine, eight. So that's a very similar color. There's lots of it, too. Oh, and seven, nine, nine. I have lots of gradients of blue. Pretty! Yeah, I guess you can kind of see that in the background. That's right? very blue. And then, bubbled. Is, is full on, there's, I don't think full on black is actually in here. Yeah, there's no full on black. Yeah, I, there's no 310s. No 310s. There's three, there's a 33 three something. So 318. 318, that one. It's it's a really, really dark green. Yeah, I think it, I think there's a little here and maybe some in here. So yeah, there are no 310s in that one. And that that one's very full. <laughs> oh my god, I like that color. And there's some very pretty colors to work with. I like how many purples there are. Eleven. I'm going to leave twelve off because seven nine nine looks kind of full too. Yeah. What I would suggest is you work out of the kind of empty pot first and empty it out. Yeah. That's what I was going to do anyway. And then 12. This one doesn't look nearly as full. 
13 though, 823. It looks like poor Sally's face is going to be pretty pixelated, but Jack's face is probably going to end up turning out pretty fine. Oh, another squeeze to drill. Looks white to me. Now that looked like it was the same. One of these blues. It's kind of hard to tell because it's squeezed under the silver. Okay, 13. There's two bags of. I'm going to make this your 823. So I'm going to put 14 in here. The same thing I did with mine, except it was 310. And what is the color this time? 823. 823? Which is a very, very dark blue, I believe. Uh, no, it's not to be over. Be over. There we go. And that was 825. Okay. Stay there. It's just plain old dark blue. Yeah. But it's very, very dark. You would be forgiven mistaking that as black. Yeah, there's a lot of it. Makes sense because there's like some in here, a bunch down here, and you probably can't even see where my hand is, so never mind all that. There's a bunch of this swirly circle thingy, I don't know what it's called, it's on the ground. Then some on Jack. Does that make sense? He's, he's wearing very dark clothing. The movie, the movie, when it's in Halloween Town, at the very least, has, has a very um, bluish cast. And we did watch it the other day. Because you don't have to wait to Halloween to watch Nightmare Before Christmas. At least not in this house. And it's on Disney+. Plus. So we're basically getting it free because we already have we're already paying for Disney Plus for other reasons. Well, we have a copy of it on Blu-ray. I'm almost a hundred percent positive. It might be DVD, but I think it's Blu-ray. But why haul them out when you can just click a button? So that whole row is going to be eight two three. That whole row is going to be eight two three. Yeah. Holy cow! Wait, two, three, two. One on top. It's okay. Just Get crack. in there. It's okay. Just crack one open and stick it inside. Okay. These ones, none of them are very full. Fifteen and sixteen. That's a pale blue. Oh, it's pretty. It's a lot of pretty diamonds. Eight to seven. It would be kind of cool if they were able to do a full-on ombre and just one diamond. Well, that's kind of what the Aurora Borealis do. Is it kind of makes it rainbow all in one. You could definitely do ombre with diamonds, you just wouldn't be able to do it in a single diamond. Although they're coming out with new kinds of neat diamonds all the time. Because diamond painting is really recent. And they're trying to innovate, and different companies are trying to get different things going. Uh, I just watched actually multiple videos announcing a new DIY moonshot artist that has some interesting enhancement diamonds. Like if you want to, uh, if some companies literally just are like if you want to add a bit of 
extra shine to your diamond, to your things. You can add a couple of aurora, aurora borealises to different sections to make it pretty rainbow. Yeah, I think I am from my, the one I'm getting from Diamond Art Club has two babies in it. I think we do have some Aurora Borealis. We have some in the Diamond Dots. We know for sure it's white, white, white Aurora Borealis. Yeah. Oh yeah, they're they're difficult to miss. For those of you who may be watching this, go who are not in deep into diamond painting as we are, uh, Aurora Borealis is uh, a coating. Oh, it's a coating. It's frequently shortened to AB. It's a coating. It can be on any color diamonds. We've only seen it in person on white, but I've seen it on videos on many different colors. But the coating, instead of just being shiny with the faceted, actually is sort of uh, holographic, like a rainbow. Very pretty. It's a lovely sparkle. And just that extra bit of pop on your canvas. Yeah, I feel like maybe I maybe I should add a little bit into zeros. Zero because I want zero to be to be slightly different shade than the moon and jack. And I think it would be pretty cool. Too. What I would suggest is start the way it says and then maybe peel some off and experiment after. Yeah. I feel like adding a couple, a couple of or just not very many, but just a couple of aurora borealis to really bring out certain parts of the painting would be pretty, would be pretty cool. And the last one is twenty. Nice happy pink. Okay, so that is the drills. Just because we have multiple containers going, even though we do know, I'm going to put Jack and Sally on here. That way, that way we can name it. And we'll give you a trash bin. Because with the painting this side, there's bound, there's bound to be at least a couple of trash drills. I think they're pretty much inevitable. What separates good drills from bad drills is is the percentage of them that are bad, not the lack, of, not the presence or absence of them. Okay, so that's that. We got trash drills, and then we're gonna prepare the canvas. Now, Emily found when she was working on Snow Sisters that just looking at the canvas all on its own was really overwhelming. Kind of like when you have an extremely messy room and you're forced to clean it and you're like, this is too much. Okay. I picked up pretty washi tape. Which one? Uh, hearts. There's some really thin washi tape because while I like to put tape on the edges, Sometimes it covers the legend. I don't like to cover the legend. And so usually it's just a tiny little overhang, so having this great big wide piece of washi tape does not make a lot of sense. Okay, so I'm going to pull this back. There's my castle. Castle! to drop a thin line of washi tape over the excess glue on the edge here. Ew! Excuse me. I said stay. I, I like the purple hearts. Not my child at all. The purple love. Part 
the reason I picked the Purple Hearts is because A, I've been recently getting into Undertale, and a big factor is the souls, which are heart, which happen to be heart shaped. Hmm, maybe this isn't washi tape. It's like it's there. The soul is washi tape. Okay. Maybe it's just too thin to be. It, it might be washi tape, but maybe it's just too thin to tear properly. I could just be incompetent, too. It's a possibility. Here's the end. See, this should pass right by the legend and not actually interfere with it. Much. And there's, fortunately, there's not a lot of excess glue on this one. Because sometimes there's, like, miles of it, it feels. This one is pretty minimal. And that's actually that's on it. the drill area. Lift that up a bit. Yeah. Well, the canvas is nice and sticky. <laughs> that's a good thing. It's a very good thing. You want your canvas to be sticky. If it's not sticky, send it back there. in. I was able to rip it that time. Apparently, I was just incompetent. Blame the headache. You have a headache. Why are you recording this video in the first place? Because I can do it without looking at a screen. Oh, sorry. Unlike most of my other pursuits. And I don't need bright light. Well, I need light, but I don't need an abundance Blind, of blinding light. Blinding light. Like I do when I diamond paint. So no diamond painting for you right now. I'll be quite happy if this bugger's right off. What? Almost dropped your castle. No, no drop castle. Heaven knows if I'll ever get to Shrewsbury again. That sounds like a dessert. I know it's a place, but it sounds a lot like a, a berry that goes on top of a cake or something. A shrewberry? Okay, so that's it for that. Maybe washi tape. I'm going to get a different washi tape and section this for you. Something that I have found helpful, and I didn't think I would. This one? Yeah, sure. Is to section off the canvas. I I don't need it. I've done them without it, but I do find that it is more satisfying to do it this way because I feel like I've accomplished something when I complete a section. That makes sense. I don't know if that will make sense to the viewers, but it makes sense to me. So cause... it has increased my enjoyment of it. So that's what I'm doing. I'm doing it for my paintings, and Emily decided she liked it, so I'm doing it for hers. I think she will find this less overwhelming. Hello, husband. Okay, we'll the go on the charger's not in here, dear. Put it on my desk. Can you check things out? Uh, actually, I'm giving you a guess. I'm going to bed. Ah. I will accept a guess. Is it that late already? been in bed since like noon. 20 to 10. Okay, it is. I didn't know that. Okay. So there's your canvas. It's sectioned off. You've got your trash bin and your drills. And it's bedtime. Okay. <laughs> All right. So thank you for joining us. I hope this was helpful for you. If you
liked the video, go ahead and click that like button, share it with your friends, subscribe if you haven't already, ring the bell if you want to know when I'm going to be uploading because I kind of do it randomly, and I'll see you in the next one. Stay safe, guys. Bye.